All right, so this is going to be a uh, Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and um, as well Cancer Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading June 1st to June 7th, 2020. And in case any of you is uh, interested in a private reading, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. And as well, uh, my third season of tarot classes is starting at uh, 21st of June. <clears throat> so if you like the way I read tarot and you want to learn to read the same way, you can sign up for that for that course at my website as well under the uh, tarot classes section. So that being set aside, uh, moving for the general reading first. Now the first card, which stands for the topic of your week, that is going to be the four card, followed by um, the, the uh, energies that are feeding and supporting the topic itself, that is going to be uh, the King of Cups. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the uh, challenges that you will have to face and, over and overcome throughout this week, Cancer, that is to be the Justice. And then we do have the gifts and the blessings uh, that you get to enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the King of Swords. Very important one. Uh, it will be of a great help of yours, that person here. Followed after that, we do have uh, the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. That is to be the Queen of Pentacles, not the ideal card in this particular uh, status uh, uh, position. It does shows differences into what people think that you gotta do and what you are going to do so you may face a bit of an opposition from the people around but we are going to look at this um in a minute and the last one which is the guidance the tarot is offering that is going to be the king of wands right so what we have for you here cancer is a a, a brand new experience that you're going to face throughout the week people say it, it's a brand new beginning right with the full card but the full it's it's not exactly the beginning um i'm explaining that into my tarot classes as the full comes with number zero zero sits in the uh, in between the two infinities the minus and the plus infinity which makes it at the moment just before the new beginning so it's like the idea that needs to reside in your head so you're gonna have the ambition the idea you know and the goal that you would want to go for and the fool sitting here makes it completely possible uh the energies are showing the predisposition in that particular spread and for you why this new beginning is available for you well with those energies because you are to do all of the right choices and decisions this week you are not going to allow your emotions to get the better of you and you're going to make uh, decisions in regards to your career and in regards to your relationship as well in a, such a way that you are to end up as a benef beneficent at the end of the results that are to unfold based on uh, based on your decisions because the king of cups does not allow his emotions to dictate his actions also while the king of cups is capable of deep feelings at the end of the day those feelings may throw him you know into a bottomless abyss and he's not allowing that to happen and therefore you are not going to allow that to happen so just because you are enraged at somebody just because you feel bad about something and just because you know you're feeling resentful all in love those emotions are not going to cloud your judgment and at the end of the day, based on that judgment, you are moving to the situation where the goal that you want to accomplish becomes available for you. Go in career, go in relationship. Being said, you may be able now to start the job you love, all right, that you never would have been able to start otherwise, okay, or to start the relationship you wanted because, you know, those decisions are making current obstacles that have deprived you from being into that relationship up until now completely irrelevant at that particular point with the full card you can expect that the week is going to be very carefree for you and very uh light-hearted as well um the week itself if i have to describe it it will be like a uh, art okay it will be like your art is going to be your muse and the muse is going to be your life it's going to be a fantastic week for you guys uh, where um everything is going to look 
dapple with colors. I don't know how to describe it in other way around. So you're going to be very optimistic for what is to follow and you're going to pretty much look forward to it. Now with the full card, it's very important as well not to dwell upon what can become as a uh, plight and as an obstacle moving forward with your goal. Right now you have to focus on the goal itself. That goal should be a light that illuminates the path moving uh, the path moving forward. And one last thing about the full card, um, the goal needs to be objective. What I mean is that you can't set for yourself a goal that is impossible to be accomplished. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so moving next. Um, oh, one last thing for the full. Um, you can expect to interact with many, many new people because the fall generally attracts a, a, a new common, a, a new commerce, like a, a, a new people that are to come into your social circle that you're going to get along with very, very easily. So moving next, we do have the challenges that you will have to face, and that will be the challenge of the justice card. So as a challenge, the justice points that of a couple of things first of all and the most mandatory one it is that there are going to be a lot of things that you need to attend to like a lot of responsibilities in order to make that goal which you are to set in front of yourself possible okay so you can't neglect a demand here you can't um bypass rules regulations steps if you will and pretty much you cannot cut any corners and that will be the challenge for you to do so pretty much you just have to roll up your sleeve uh, sleeves i'm sorry and start toil um upon the demands or the criteria that your goal that your goal requires the other thing which is not going to be much of a challenge for you because uh it's um uh, pretty much the energies are diminishing it and it's it's kind of like suppressing that challenge is the astute discernment over the situation but because you are you will be master of your emotions you will be able to tame your emotions you will see pretty clearly what needs to be done and how needs to be done as well although you may not like it that doesn't change the fact that if you do want to reach the the end of the line or the goal that you have set in front of yourself you have to do it so you got to be prepared to do things that you under normal circumstances would be quite displeased uh, to, to perform. Moving next, we do have uh, the uh, gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy. And that is on an individual here, the King of Swords. So these are very, very powerful and influential people. Um, the way I see it, this is someone who will help you with connections. And also as as with connections, it will help you by making your plans and your ideas into a very effective actions um, or transforming your plans and your ideas into very effective actions. That could be the business partner you, you have hoped to have, you know, or it could be the, the lawyer that is going to resolve your um your divorce it could be the medical doctor that is going to find what is wrong with you it is just a, a, a person of blessing here that will find what is wrong with your life in general and it will be able to help you sorting it out it could be the uh, the couple therapist who helps you you know save your marriage it is just a, a professional help that comes around which if not anything else gives you the recipe you know how you can um, accomplish your goal and as we saw here the goal will become pretty uh, pretty reachable for you it is just you gotta be prepared to do what it takes in order to reach uh, at that point and again you may not like it but that doesn't change the fact that if you do want to get where you want to get you gotta do it so uh then we come to the uh, most unpleased uh, unpleasant i'm sorry card into the reading here which is the impression of the people around what kind of impression you're giving into the people around and that is going to be the four of pentacles so uh the queen of pentacles i'm sorry so the uh, first impression here is that you are not minding your own business what i mean is that you are poking your nose where your nose does not belong and the other impression 
and this is pretty much a biased impression of the people you you haven't gave them that impression but nonetheless they have it it is that you are way uh, how can i say it you are way too premature okay and that you are charging toward a new goal say in your relationship new project or or kind of like uh, establishing your own business and so on and so forth uh, way too early and you are not ready for it so that's and, and and this is where you may expect a little bit of a criticism say from your family say from your friends you know say from your partner in life and so on or business partners as well but that being said this is how they see you and they don't know what is going on behind the curtains and here with the first couple of cards safely can say that that move of yours is not premature at all okay it is just once again you gotta be ready to do whatever it takes in order to get there um and that is pretty well described as well into the last card which is the king of wands and that is the guidance that uh, taro is offering so first of all king of wands relates a lot to positive attitude it means that um no matter what the challenge is in front of you you have to maintain your positive outlook and seeing it from the bright side of things and the other guidance here that the uh, King of Wands gives you, it is that whatever ambition you do have is definitely worth chasing. And this is the week where you transform that ambition into a very powerful drive. And with the combination with the King of Swords and the King of Wands, oh my God, those two can achieve literally everything. Okay, because the ambition, which is a, a very powerful drive through the channeling of the, of the King of Swords, becomes a very effective, um, powerful and effective drive simultaneously. So it's not like just only you are going to have the ambition, but you will be able to manifest that ambition through the help of the King of Swords, that very, very um, influential and I would say, again, powerful individual that will come to an aid. To me, it looks like a, a professional help, just like I said, but it, I'm open for any kind of... Um, manifestation of the card itself so that being said cancer this was your weekly general tarot reading uh june 1st to june 7th 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again if you are interested in a private reading you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from where you can purchase such and as well if you like uh the way i read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way uh, my third season of tarot classes is starting at the at the 21st, I'm sorry, of June. And you can sign up for it by going under a tarot classes section at my website as well. And I'm going to come back to you within 24 hours with the details how the class is going to take place. And we'll pretty much put you in the, uh, in, in the sign up list. Um, so we may see each other around. And until then, bye.